There are two different types of invasive airways your patient may have in place, an endotracheal tube or a tracheostomy. Both an endotracheal tube and a tracheostomy are closed system airways used to deliver ventilation to the patient. Patients who require an endotracheal tube are usually in respiratory failure and unable to adequately breathe for themselves or are unable to protect their airway due to other physiological disturbances. A tracheostomy may be formed when patients are likely to have prolonged period of mechanical ventilation. This will be a planned procedure. Both airways sit in the trachea delivering mixed air and oxygen directly to the lungs. Both tubes will have an inflatable cuff near the end of the tube providing the airway with both a seal, thus not allowing air to escape around it, and some protection from aspiration of gastric contents into the lungs. The most important aspect of caring for an intubated patient is ensuring the endotracheal tube is secure. An unplanned extubation or misplaced tube can jeopardise patient safety. When checking the endotracheal tube, first check that it is secure and tied appropriately with tapes or a device used in your trust. Regularly check the tapes have not become loose. You should only be able to get two fingers between the tube ties and the patient. This is more important if ties are used as opposed to the anchor fast system. If there is excessive space between the two, then you should retie the tapes. Tying the tapes is a two-person technique to prevent an ac accidental extubation, with one person holding the tube and one person tying the tapes. Avoid tying the tapes around the connector at the end of the tube as this can become disconnected. Tube ties for both airways may vary between different trusts. Ensure you familiarise yourself with these. Here we are showing an anchor fast system. If the tube becomes displaced at any time or you are worried, call for help. The size of the tube must be checked to ensure the correct size suction catheters are used for both endotracheal tubes. The size will easily be identified on the cuff balloon with each tube, which each tube will have. These may differ between trusts. You must also check the point at which the endotracheal tube is tied. Endotracheal tubes are tied at the teeth, the length of which will be clearly marked on the tube under the ties. The length of the tube is clearly marked in one centimetre increments. A standard endotracheal tube is 26 centimetres long and for an average man tied at approximately 22 centimetres at the teeth. If the tube ties become loose at any point or you are worried or not sure how to tie them, call for help. The cuff pressure of the endotracheal tube must be checked every four hours. This can be done either via the ventilator or with a manual device. The cuff pressure must sit between 20 and 30 centimetres of water. If the cuff is overinflated, it will cause tracheal pressure damage. If the cuff is underinflated, air will escape and cause the ventilator to alarm and inadequate ventilation will occur. Usually you will hear a cuff leak. This sound may be described as a gargling sound as air escapes over the vocal cords. There are several causes for a cuff leak. Inadequate air in the cuff, damage to the cuff, high ventilator pressures which exceed the pressure in the cuff, tube does not fit the anatomy, positional and leak appears on movement of the patient. If you are unable to resolve the issue by inflating or deflating the cuff, if appropriate, then call for help.